Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to K-Rox Photography. Um, today I'm gonna be going through another tutorial on how do I make some of the photos from a still photo like this to um, like a roller shot. Um, I do uh, tend to do a bunch of those just because I'm the only one who's taking photos and to get the roller shots you need at least three people and it just sometimes you know people are not free and whatever so yeah so this tutorial is basically gonna go over how do I make my photos um, something from this to looking like a um, roller or like you know a car moving on a road the basic idea of the roller shot can be something like just find just take some photos that looks have your car on the road and make a composition that looks like your car is actually in the right angle and um on the right angle and uh, the camera is on the right spot to take a a photo that you can turn into a uh, uh, roller shot so so right now I'm in a Lightroom um, I basically did my all my adjustment from something from I went from this to this and then to get that effect uh, what you want to do is basically right click on the image the image that you want to um, have a motion into it you're gonna go and edit in oh, looks like it can't let me see if I can do this so you want to go and edit in Photoshop and then it's basically gonna open up this photo in Photoshop and from there uh, you can go ahead and um, do your editing okay so Right now I have this photo open up in Photoshop and what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna select this background layer and I'm gonna hit uh, Command J on the Mac which basically does is basically makes uh, basically a duplicate copy so if anything goes with anything wrong goes with layer one I can always come back to the original photo and tweak that so I'm gonna turn off the background layer just because I don't need it right now and what are we gonna do from here is if you go to your left side you'll see a panel and there's something called quick selection so if you hover over the with your mouse you'll see a quick selection so you wanna hold it and just do quick selection the first one and if you have a Photoshop 2019 um, there's a new feature called select subject so what Photoshop does is it tries it I don't know like Photoshop magic and try to select a person or an object that's in the photo and it's gonna try to do its best to select just that so if you just hit that select subject now it's just going through is algorithm and whatever so as you can see it did a pretty good job um, there are some spots that it didn't did a good job so what I'm gonna do is um, that, as you can see it got a little bit of the road a uh, little bit of the tree and you know the background so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, just decline this so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and same with the quick selection uh, select the first one I'm gonna make the brush bigger with the uh, either you can there's a short key the ampersand or you can do like you can click the size and do you know whatever you like um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select 57 so what I'm gonna do is while holding option or alt key on the Mac I'm gonna try to select around the edges so as you can see that it deselected the wheels that's not what we want so I'm gonna go ahead and 
if you look closely there's a plus sign in the selection circle that means you, you're in the mode of so you can select whenever you're holding option or alt key you'll see minus that means it's gonna deselect so I'm gonna go ahead and select just the wheel again and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and I'm gonna make my brush smaller while holding option I'm gonna select around the tire so it doesn't have to be perfect uh, just do your best to select um, just the car uh, okay so now we have the whole car selected and what you want to do is basically um, you want to have so you want to hit command J again what this is gonna do is basically whatever you had selected it's gonna make another copy of just that so if I turn off the layer one you'll see that we selected just the car and it's gonna make a new copy of just the car not not, uh, not the background so that's what we're gonna do so what we're gonna do now is basically go back to layer one and now it's time to add a blur so what we're gonna do is go top uh, all the way to the top go to filters go to blur gallery and we're gonna do path blur what does path blur do is you can actually um, you know define different line or angles where you want to have your blur so I'm gonna select from the left side basically follow the road line and go from there so I'm gonna select a bunch of them so okay and then from here you can see there's speed so you can make it go slower make it faster or like how bad you want the blur and what taper does is basically it aligns labor of the lines but I always have my taper around like 20 ish percent or 20 between 20 to 25 uh, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do 23 and I'm gonna up the speed by mm, I just I'm gonna go with 30 and I'm gonna hit OK so what this is gonna do is it's only gonna affect it's gonna only affect the layer one and nothing else. Um, so this is basically the bottom, the bottom you can call it like the uh, foundation of um, foundation of the effect that you're trying to do. And um, so now if we go ahead and unhide the just the car layer it's gonna show that everything is blurry but other than the car so another thing that I like to do is basically I would like to clone this area as you can see there's a little bit of blurriness around the car um, but it doesn't look natural so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, unhide the car I'm gonna go ahead and select the layer one and if you hit um, letter S on your keyboard it's gonna pull up the clone tool um, or you can go to the left side of the panel that is called clone stamp tool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the opacity 100 it's having layer one selected I'm just gonna paint around so I'm gonna go ahead and hit option while holding option select the spot on the photo that you wanna basically mimic so I basically selected this spot and I'm gonna paint around this so I'm basically trying to hide the edge um, just because I that's what I do because I I feel like it doesn't look natural and if you mess up you can always go back while holding command Z and this is gonna just bring back you to uh, uh, to the last 
part where you like uh, let go of your mouse so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the car as you can see is 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 more of like experimenting um, how natural does it look or how you know, how it doesn't so so now as you can see that I did that so I'm gonna go ahead and unhide the car layer and as you can see that it does look a little bit more natural now just because there's it's not blurry in the front but it's blurry in the back that's what we want we want that we want the effect of the car is moving and there's one so there's one more step we need to do uh, as you can see we got the background blurry in motion we got the car and the only part left is the wheels and the wheels are basically the same thing so what you're gonna do for the wheels is basically select your just the car layer you're gonna go ahead and go to filters go to blur gallery and go to spin blur this is gonna open up another panel so this is basically gonna open up a panel where you can select a specific area on your image that you want to do a spin blur so while holding uh, while holding the the points on the circle on the left and the right and the top and bottom you're gonna go ahead and align the best you can on the on the photo what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in really a little bit more so I can get a little bit more precise selection so I'm gonna make this a little bit longer maybe tilt a little bit and it's not too long so I'm gonna make it like right there and and I'm gonna move it a bit. so I think this is what I'm gonna go with so when you hover over your selection you'll see these white dots this is basically telling you where the blur will end so if you pull these all the way to the uh, out it's gonna blur the whole circle so it's gonna blur the whole selection I'm gonna make this a little bit more bigger perfect and on the right side on the panel you see another option it says blur angle so this basically tells you what speed or like uh, like what is the angle of blur and this is actually another personal preference depending on if you want a really fast blur or like really big blur you can do if you do 70 it's gonna so show you like it's the blur is more so which I don't like to do I tend to go between 20 to 25 uh, just because it, it looks a little bit more natural so yeah so the back wheel is done and we're gonna go ahead hit OK and it's gonna go ahead and do its thing and what I'm gonna do is now as you can see um, so the back wheel is blurry so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the front wheel we're gonna go ahead and select the same car layer go to filters blur gallery spin blur and it's gonna pull up the same um, window um, that was in, in previous and if your computer is a little bit slow it's gonna takes a little bit of time um, just because I have Lightroom running in the background and Photoshop and um, yeah so it's gonna take a little bit of time but I'm gonna go ahead and make the same I'm gonna do the same thing what I did to the other circle I'm gonna make it smaller um, I'm gonna now make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the wheel. You don't wanna try to, don't try to get any body lines of the car or like any part of the car, just because 
is gonna blur that that um, that too so I'm gonna try to do my best uh, and then move these white circles back out so what I'm gonna do is as you can see the back wheels looks more blurry than the front so what I'm gonna do is match the blur angle this with, with the back wheel so I'm gonna do 25% and I'm gonna hit OK and this is just gonna do it's gonna process through all of that and there you are there you guys are and if you feel like you want your background more blurry you can always do that by selecting the layer one going to filter blur gallery path blur um there you go and cut the speed to cut the speed to 33 let's see how does it look and there you guys have it is so we went from something from this to this um, again you don't have to go through all of this if you try to take real you know like rollers on the road um, but like I said you need at least three people to do it and you know some people are busy uh, if you don't have time and if you're really good with Photoshop um, this is something you can try play around um yeah experiment so this is the final image that we did and uh, yeah if you guys have any questions um write them in the comments below or hit me up on instagram which is at krox underscore gt350 um just hit me up in my dms if you guys have any questions regarding this this tutorial or anything else um, I'm happy to help you guys with anything um, yep and uh, thank you for subscribing and thank you for commenting and liking and uh, thank you you have a good you guys have a good day um, and also if you guys do this tutorial uh, post it on your guys Instagram and tag me in it um, I just want to see you know the different style or different photos that people did and it would be really cool. All right, peace. See you guys next tutorial.